After losses of S-400, S-300 air defense systems, Russia cannot defend Crimean airspace. Ukrainian military observer Denis Popovich explained what the attack by the Ukrainian military on the Russian airfield in occupied Zankoy really means. On Radio NV, he noted that the enemy's losses were enormous. The S-400, S-300 air defense systems and a warehouse with ammunition were destroyed. There is such hysteria there that it was a pleasure to read about it. We are talking about the S-400 complex, then it has a range of 400 kilometers. In fact, they are now deprived of a system that could control the entire Crimea and even beyond outside of it. This is a serious loss, since they could use it, including to protect the so-called Crimean bridge to control the airspace over the entire occupied Crimea. I don't count the S-300 yet, the expert explained. According to Popovich, since the S-400 system has a range of 400 kilometers, this means that the invaders are effectively deprived of a system that could control all of Crimea and even some territory beyond its borders. This is a serious loss, since they could use it, including to protect the so-called Crimean bridge to control the airspace over the entire occupied Crimea. I don't count the S-300 yet, he emphasized, looking around. The expert also suggested that after these strikes, not a hole, but a big hole, appeared in the enemy's air defense system in Crimea. Obviously, this may be the first series of some kind of sequential operations for the occupied Crimea. We remember when we destroyed radar equipment last summer, it ended with a strike on the headquarters of the Black Sea Fleet. Now we'll see, he concluded. Recall on the night of April the 17th, a series of explosions occurred in the airfield in Zankoy in occupied Crimea. The Institute for the Study of War today confirmed explosions at the military airfield of the the Russian occupation forces in Zankoy, noting that Russian Mi-8, Mi-25M, Mi-28 and Ka-52 helicopters are based in Zankoy. Subsequently, the main intelligence directorate boasted that they were able to destroy four S-400 air defense missile launchers, three radar stations and air surveillance equipment, Fundament M. Russia's Krasuka electronic warfare system disrupts UAVs and radars in Ukraine. The Krasuka, a Russian-manufactured electronic warfare system, plays a critical role in the Russian military's operations in Ukraine by targeting enemy radar systems from the ground. According to Army Recognition Media Outlet, this equipment is specifically designed to jam signals across a broad spectrum, focusing on disrupting airborne electronics such as those in unmanned aerial vehicles, radar-guided missiles and other airborne systems. It is noted that the operation strategy of the Krasuka involves long-range detection of aircraft radars ranging between 200 and 250 kilometers. The Russian-made Krasuka electronic warfare combat system consists of two vehicles including the 1L269, Krasuka 2 and the 1RL257, Krasuka 4. The Krasuka 2 system detects and recognizes enemy radar signals. The Krasuka 4 is a jamming station control vehicle that provides electronic countermeasures against enemy radar. Until the Krasuka is activated, the pilot can observe the surrounding environment and identify targets for destruction. However, once the system is enabled, the pilot loses awareness of this situation and therefore cannot complete the mission. Upon detecting a radar, the system identifies and prioritizes the target before deciding on the suppression method. The system identifies signal types and employs powerful intelligent jamming techniques to incapacitate enemy radar. This disruption prevents enemy aircraft from detecting targets or effectively deploying high-precision weapons. Consequently, enemy aircraft, compromised by the electronic warfare system, are compelled to leave the airspace and abort their missions. This system is capable of disrupting the radar systems of enemy strike and reconnaissance aircraft, UAVs and low-orbit satellites. Additionally, it can track NATO aircraft and engage ground radars. Army recognition media outlet says that since the beginning of the conflict in Ukraine, Russian forces have been actively using the Krasuka 4 to scan the airspace in defense of the Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics. It plays a crucial role in identifying and classifying aerial targets, particularly in disabling the onboard radars of Ukrainian reconnaissance UAVs.
Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has visited Slavyansk city in eastern Donetsk region. He wrote about this on his Telegram channel. Zelensky met with the fighters receiving treatment in the medical department of the 95th Airborne Assault Brigade and awarded them. I met the fighters and presented them with a state award. Our country is proud of such fighters. We appreciate the work of our doctors. We are grateful to our soldiers for their efforts to save lives, Zelensky wrote. It should be noted that the city of Slavyansk is located 20 kilometers from the front line. <laughs> Хочу вам подякувати за те, що ви з самого початку війни і дійсно все своє життя віддаєте заради життя наших воїнів. Багато пафосу не хочу вам говорити, ви самі знаєте ваші здобутки. Дякую, що піднімаєте на ноги наших бійців і служите Україні. Бажаю вам перемоги і здоров'я, і бути дуже міцними. Слава Україні! Героям слава!